Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Just got home doing some work, hauling some manure and all these fertilizer goodnesses all around Pennsylvania. It's not my job. It's just a hobby for my parents. And because uh, they are, we're making a huge garden. So I was taking stuff from way over here to way over there and way over there to over here, things like that. And then I got my truck stuck in about three feet of slop, which was why I need four wheel drive and I don't have it. So I was pretty pissed off with a shovel for a while. I'm here now. Hold a bunch of, of wood around. Pretty productive day, considering I have to go to work tonight. I uh, got up at 7.30 or something like that. It's only like 11.30, so I, you know, pretty good, pretty good. I got really fired up. The last event was the truck sinking and <laughs> me getting it out, so I was pretty fired up. And there was the burning smell of rubber, for sure. Okay, we have BrewDog. Speaking of burning smell of rubber, that, no, no comparison whatsoever. BrewDog, brewed in Ohio. Eh, it's a little comparison. Light speed, baby. 99 calories because you got to put that down there because it's a session IPA, I guess. Uh, see what it is. 99 calories, light bodied. That's nice. Uh, light, light in the calories. Uh, hazy IPA. United we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. Okay. A fast beer for a slow universe. And Brewdog, light speed. 4.0%. So, an almost session IPA as well as a low calorie IPA. 12 fluid ounces, of course. Columbus Brewed. Uh, that Columbus Brewed, Ohio, USA, driven by passion and united by Brewdog. Driven by passion um, and united by Brewdog. <laughs> Of course, Columbus, Ohio. Not, uh, not from, not from Scotland, but you get better. We could get better distribution here. And I'm, I'm, and they said when I showed guys this one from the UK, they said they haven't seen this one before. So we're probably getting different beers. Of course, that collaboration with Giant Food Markets is definitely something that is locale only. So, let's see what we got going on here. With a black label out, folks into the Kaiser Dome glass. Okay, so a little hazy for sure. As it said it would be. Up to that 0 0.3 liter area. Let's see, can we do it? 0 0.3 liters. Right here. So, there you go. Wow, perfumey as hell. So 0 0.3 liters right here. And as I said, perfumey as hell. Citrus perfuming. Almost that dish soap kind of perfumey citrus tonality. Sharp lemon. Sharp grapefruit. Sharp peaches. Like peach rings. Wow. Cheers. Peach rings. Very light body. Haziness, a little brightness. Kind of weedy, you know, that weedy, bready, kind of hazy quality. Nothing too crazy. Pretty dry. Peach rings, though, is the word of the day. Peach rings. I hate peach. Peach rings. There you go. Definitely a confectionery beer as far as these peach rings the candied um, quality if you like peach rings you and you just like easy drinking IPAs well ho, ho, I got the beer for you for sure so it is good I would eat a peach ring before I eat a peach I don't like peach never have even when I was a baby They sing. Oh yeah. So no, this is a pretty good beer. Um, it is tasty, tropical, easy drinking, light body, a little wheat tonality in the back end. Not gonna make anybody go, oh my god. But if someone said, well, we have a Michelob Ultra, or you can have this, I would pick this one. So there you go. <laughs> is it super fantastic? No. Is it really good? It's pretty good. 
pretty good. On a pretty good scale for sure. Mm. Definitely light and refreshing. Definitely take this. If you have the ability, take this over any Shandy ever. <laughs> like, for example, would be a great um, great way to say that. You know, definitely, you know, Michelob Ultras and the Shandies and the summertime and the summertime. When the what it is hot, drink this instead. You'll be much more happy. And it is 4%. It is light, so you can session the shit out of this. Um, it is a bit thin. It's on that it's supposed to be that thin, crushable, light-bodied, low-calorie beer. Uh, 99 calories. I don't know if that's technically low. Is that low? I'm not sure. I know the Imperial Stouts that I drink are like 360, so it is much lower than that. Oh, yeah. But uh, that's like 22-ounce bottles of... Uh, or 750s of that Imperial that I think is like 360 or something. I'm not really exactly sure. I don't know the science behind calorie intake. I don't. That's why I'm fat. So, yeah. Be that as it may, this is a pretty good beer. I'll give it an 8 out of 10, baby. It's an 8 out of 10. It's a nice little bit. Yeah, 7.5. Ah, God. It's, yeah, mm. it's, I can't give it a solid score because it's a little bit better than that. It's a little bit more intriguing than that. So I can't give it a 7.5. It is it is hitting it on the head and nailing what it's supposed to be. Super solid category. But honestly, even though it's peach rings, I still like it. I still like it. And I would take this over a lot of other ones, so I'm still going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's definitely worth it. And I'm cooking up some mushrooms right now. And I'm going to throw some gravy in it and a big thick. And it's going to be way more than 99 calories. <laughs> so this has been Paul from Bay Brutus. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Very flavorful. A lot of tropical peach ring, for sure. This has been Paul Fabritas. Watch that figure. Here it comes. Bye-bye. Cheers.